Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to easily fix and repair a broken 3.5mm 4 pole stereo jack on Beats EP headphones like a pro. Last time I showed you how to replace an old earpad on Beats EP headphones. This is a typical problem for all wired headphones, sooner or later the 3.5mm plug or the cable to the jack end breaks and the headphones don't work. If your headphones have a broken cable at the input of the headphone housing, then see the previous tech screw video. Where I show you how to replace the broken cable on the Beats EP. To make this repair you need to buy a new replacement 3.5mm 4 pole jack, if you don't need a working microphone and buttons, then you can also use a 3.5mm 3 pole jack. In both cases your music will sound like new headphones. The link to buy the jacks is in the video description. You will also need some tools, a soldering iron and a heat shrink tube. Start by cutting off the damaged jack, a few centimeters from the jack end. Then straighten the cable starting from the remote control, this will prolong the life of the headphones, as the excess rubber will be straightened out. Put the jack housing on the cable, as this will not be done after soldering. Cut a small heat shrink tube, make it slightly larger with pliers, and put it on the cable too. Remove the outer jacket of the cable with a sharp paper knife, but be careful, not to damage the internal wires. Separate all of the internal wires by colors, but do this with 110% accuracy, one smaller wire at the wrong color, and the headset will no longer work correctly after repair. The gold wires must be soldered together, they will be for the microphone and speaker grounds. It should look like this, four wires. With a plier open the cable clamp wider to fit inside this flat cable. Tin all the wires, so that they can be soldered to the jack more easily and with better quality. The result looks like this. Then use a multimeter to find out which wire is the left channel, which is the right channel, which is the microphone, and which wire is the ground. If you don't know how to use a multimeter, watch my last Tech Screw School video on how to use a multimeter. I found out that red is right, green is left, green with red wire is the microphone. Then tin the jack contacts to make it easier to solder wires. Then tin the mic wire almost the full length, cut off the excess length, and solder the mic wire to the jack contact then push the wire into the cable clamp. For the other wires, also cut off the excess length, if necessary, so as not to disturb the soldering of the wires to the jack. Then solder the other wires according to where the specific wire needs to be soldered. Left, right, ground and microphone. Once all the wires are soldered, apply super glue where the wire attaches to the jack and melt the heat shrink tube over the top, this will give a good fixation of the cable, and the headphones will last longer. Then coat all the contacts with grandpa's foot nail polish, to avoid future short circuits, let the nail polish dry a bit, then apply super glue over the top to lock everything in place, screw the jack housing over the top of the glue, housing will stick with the glue and the housing will be secured. The headphones is now repaired, and ready to use, but you are on the tech screw channel, where I will show you how to repair the plug professionally, so cut the heat shrink tubing, which is a bit smaller than the diameter of the jack housing. Then use a plier to make the tubing a little bigger, to fit over the jack. Put glue where the cord goes inside the jack, and melt heat shrink tubing over the housing, this will give the ultimate cable fixing. Looks like from the factory, and will last as long as new headphones or even longer. The last step is to test headphones, Alsco no is quality check, as tech screw has repaired over 1000 headphones, I do quality test at the end. You can also do the test when all wires are soldered to the 3.5mm jack. Everything is fine, both, the music and the microphone works. Another good repair. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to post them below this video, in the comments section. I'd be delighted, if you like and subscribe this video, to support my work and meet me at a new money saving repair video. Thank you.